Hello, hello out there. This is Twisty with, with another book review. Once again, it's true. I read. This is the book I'm reviewing, Laura Hamilton's Hit List. I know, look, if you can read it, it came from Borders. Oh, they're gone. They don't exist anymore. No. Anyway, um, this book was... Really good. For those of you who are familiar with the term Anita Verse, Anita World, any of that, um, this is from the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. Um, this is definitely, if you are familiar with the series enough to be have continually read it, you'll know that the series, to me, maybe just me, went through a period of time where it, it, it went through a little rough phase. Like when it first started off, it was an awesome series to read. It's very fast, very crime based, you know, it's a, it's a, you have a crime, she's trying to solve it, plus she has her life to deal with. Somewhere on the line, her life took over before the crime, and, the you know, I, I believe that's good to continually learn about a character, because I think that makes the character more realistic, and it makes them grow. Um, but having said that, that I kind of miss some of the old crime fighting about some of the old novels. Um, with this one, it does go back. Some old school, so hey, yeah, maybe, maybe a little happy there, and it still has a lot of the love, the love stuff in it. Um, not as much, not not really as much at all, really, because most of the people that she has calls her little sweeties, um, aren't really in the book, or they're not really in it for, for most of the book, because after a while, it seemed like Jean Claude became voice in the whispery wind, and then it was just mainly Nathaniel and Michael that you saw the most stuff. But um, with this one, truly, it's 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 really really interesting. It's very riveting. The plot is easy to follow. It's very good. I'm a huge fan of Hamilton, so really don't have anything bad to say about the book because this is one. Like I said, I think this is one of the stronger books, especially for it being one of the later ones. Because like I said, some she went through a series, a little period of time where some of them weren't that great. It seemed like it was all about the love or the sex, or it's something about the storyline kind of fell off of the whole idea the whole plot is in general but this one hit list okay Hamilton is back on point so I'm very excited to find out when her next book is coming out and I will definitely read that one too once again big fan of the, even when it was going on I was still a big fan of it the characters in it are believable if you are familiar with Anita you know that she you know only Hamilton can write Anita you know she gets it spot on Nothing seems off about the book. There were there were parts where it was got a little horrorish, and I I missed that element. That was another thing that it was considered, you know, a horror romance, and sometimes the horror element kind of disappeared. But I think even with this one, and even Bullet going back a little bit further, um, it still contained some of the elements that kind of really put it into the horror genre. So I think that. That's doing pretty good. It's not now. Don't get don't get it twisted. It's not a horror story. It's a horror romance. So it has horror elements, but it has romantic elements too. If it's a horror romance, it's more romantic than it is horrific. Okay. <laughs> um, I do believe that most people that do enjoy a good read that has vampires and things like that, that has the supernatural element, and it will enjoy this read. It's like I said, it's very quick. It's it's fast read. I couldn't put it down. Um, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, the plot was nice. The settings were really were really nice, actually. Um, and some of the character developments and some of the personal struggles that, that Anita goes through are highly believable. Even if you have never been through the things you go through, she takes you through it. It's written in first person, as are all the novels. So if you're familiar with the novels, all of them are written in first person. I can't remember if Micah is. That's the only one. It's just not coming to me. I can't remember if it's first person or not. But all the rest of them are in first person. Um, so, honestly, you should read this. You should check, definitely check it out. It's worth a read. I would definitely say it's 4.5 to 5 stars. So, like I said, I couldn't really find anything wrong with it. <laughs> I'm the kind of person who likes to find things wrong with things. So, awesome read. Check it out. That's Laura Hamilton. Hit list from the Anita Blake Vampire Series.